Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to create a span volume in dynamic disk. So let's open the disk management. Just click on the start and select disk management. This will open the disk management snap in console. So let's go ahead and uh, let's discuss about the span volume. So first of all, what is span volume? Span volumes combine areas of unallocated space from multiple disk into one logical volume. The area of unallocated space can be different size on a both disk. Span volumes require two hard disk minimum and you can use up to 32 disks. When creating a span volumes, keep certain points in your mind that first, you can extend only NTFS volumes or unformatted volumes to the span partitions. Second, after you create or extend a span volumes, you cannot delete any portion of it without deleting the entire span volume. So this is the most important thing. Third, you cannot strip or mirror span volumes. Fourth, span volumes do not provide any kind of fault tolerance. Fifth, if one of the disks contain a span volumes fail, the entire volume will fail and all the data on the span volumes becomes inaccessible. The reliability for a span volumes is a less than the least reliable disk in the set. So let's create one span volume for the demonstration. On disk 1, we have uh, approximately 400 GB unallocated space. So let's create a new span volume over here. Click on next and on a disk 1. This is our disk 1. On a disk 1, specify the size. So we want to use 10244. And from disk 2, click on add. You can also add the entire disk for the span. But for this demonstration, I'm going with, uh, let's specify 50,000. So from disk 1, we take 100 GB and from disk 2, we just take a 50,000 MB. Click on next and you want to assign a travel letter E. Let's uh, assign the travel letter, for example, J. Click on next and now specify the volume name, span wall. Select perform a quick format. Click on next and click on finish. Okay, so now we have a span volume, 100 GB from disk 1 and 50 GB from disk 2. Now, if you open my computer, let's click on this PC and now we have a span volume total size of 148 GB. 100 GB comes from disk 1 and additional 48, 3 GB is coming from disk 2. And under my computer, you can only see a single partition. So now let's uh, expand this uh, span volume and click on extend this span volume click on next now from which disk you want to use the unallocated space so by default it is selected disk 2 and from disk 2 we want to use additional 10,000 click on next click on finish and that's it now as we are seeing see this space is not include inside this but it will t create another volume with the same drive later with the size of 10 GB. Again, if you coming back to our my computer, you can only see the partition J. And if you click on refresh, now we have a total size of 158 GB. Now, if you delete this volume, that time that will delete this volume as well as this volume too. And this is the way how we can create a span volumes across multiple disks in Windows Server. Thanks for watching this video.